Okay, this is a quick instructional video of a sales tool we're going to be sending out to some of you there at the PAC Salesforce. I uh, just want to demonstrate uh, on how it's used. Uh, you'll be receiving a case like this. Inside the case will be a cutaway of our 301 viscometer. Okay. So, what we have, what we have here is a cutaway of our 301 sensor. And our 301 sensor is an inline viscometer that measures viscosity, temperature, and temperature compensated viscosity. Uh, I'd like to show you is how it works. So we have these two electromagnetic coils here inside the sensor. We energize the top coil. That pulls this piston up with magnetic force at a constant force. And this bottom coil tracks its position. Once it reaches an endpoint, the electronics now switch this coil becomes active and this one tracks and it pulls the piston back through the fluid again with a constant force. The viscous drag of the fluid will determine how quickly or how slowly the piston travels. What we're doing is we're measuring the amount of time it takes for that piston to travel between the two endpoints. That amount of time is equal to the viscosity, the absolute viscosity in centipoise. Now, fluid is deflected using this flow deflector from the pipe or through the side of a tank, and it will go and get flow, it will flow down right into this area here. As the piston goes up, that fluid gets sucked down in behind the piston, and as it gets pushed down, that material gets pushed out. So the piston's motion acts like a pump and will constantly bring in new sample and expel old sample. Okay? There are no seals, no gears, only one moving part, and that one moving part is the piston that's magnetically cust uh, coupled. Now, the constant piston motion is keeping your sample clean and refreshed all the time. It's also keeping the sensor very, very clean. This motion uh, creates lots of turbulence in there, so it's self-scrubbing. So the goal is to have our customers use these uh, where they are uh, using them maintenance free, uh, not lots of cleanup or anything like that. Now we're measuring viscosity here with the coils. Right below the piston sensor chamber here is an embedded platinum RTD. That RTD measures temperature. So when this is inserted into a pipe or into a tank, this sensor will come up to the same temperature as the process. So the coils measure viscosity the RTD is giving you temperature. So our system measures both viscosity and temperature. Back in our proprietary electronics, we go and we calculate the absolute viscosity based on the time of the piston travel. We give you the temperature in degrees C or degrees F. And then we also calculate temperature compensated viscosity based on the input that the users give. Okay. The entire sensor is made out of all 316L stainless steel. The piston or standard piston is 316L on the top, 430 on the bottom. Okay, and just so you can see, this is uh, one of our, this is half of a sensor, our 301. And remember, all the 300 series sensors are all the same. They use the same coils and the same pistons, the same spindles for the most part. The difference is really plumbing and how they're going to get installed. So the 301 uses one and a quarter inch NPT pipe threads. Uh, we have others that use different uh, flanges and, and other ways of connecting. If you have more questions, we happy to answer them. Check with your CVI business development manager and they can help you uh, to better use this device. Okay. Thank you for your time.